Hello, my name is Cynthia Lee, and I'm in the Recording Arts Bachelor's program here at Full Sail. I chose to interview Monique Mason, who is the course director for Introduction to Music Business here at Full Sail. She is also an event promoter, and she makes her own flyers and posters. What do you see as the role of the visual arts in our mass-mediated world, and particularly in your profession? Since 1981, with the uh, introduction of MTV. Ever since then, we've been nothing but a visual society. So as far as my profession, as both a college instructor, as well as a, an event promoter, the significance is unmeasurable. You know, with the onslaught of things like the whole Pecha Kucha, or however you pronounce it, that they use in some of the other classes is a great example of that is use the images to help you emphasize your words. With new communications and media technologies, imagery is almost instantly available. Do you believe that this is having a positive or negative influence on the industry? Can you please provide an example? I think the availability of imagery is wonderful if people were more respectful of the copyright owner's rights to the images. You can take somebody like a shepherd fairy. You know, some of the images he tries to use come from the public domain, but a lot of them don't. But his style of artwork is so modern and young. Um, so there kind of gets both sides of that. It's, it's positive in the sense that it creates a great brand for him. And it, it's kind of created a culture around that style of artwork. But at the same time, you run into the issue of him using images that are already owned by someone and a few that came from the public domain. What popular images do you see that are frequently rechanneled throughout the entertainment industry? Uh, the images that I'm seeing frequently rechanneled are the use of sex to sell. I get it. I don't agree with it. I think there are other ways to stimulate the consumer's brain to get them interested in, in what your product is. It, it becomes a kind of a state of the nation kind of thing. Like, where are we as a nation as far as, are we happy right now? Are there particular images that this industry has popularized and or created? The images that this industry has made popular is that you have to be perfect, this perfect image. Um, my example for that would be, you look at an artist like Adele. She was a heavier girl, but could sing the life out of a song. She was so amazing. But when she first came out, could not get to the status where other female singers were because they were so focused on her weight. I think this industry is perpetuating the image that you have to be flawless and you have to meet this standard of what the world thinks is the perfect woman. Who is one of your favorite visual artists and or what is your favorite style of visual art? I love abstract paintings. I'm very big on abstract paintings. I can't say that I have a favorite artist, but I will pick someone local. Um, there's a guy named Andrew Spear who is local, who's done a lot of artwork here in town. He's done a lot of murals here in town. He's had several art shows here in town. Um, I like his artwork. I like them because there's multiple emotions in them. How has your knowledge of famous artworks influenced your creative process? As far as it influencing my creative process, I always look to create some sort of emotion. I wanted to want you to come out. I wanted to either create curiosity or excitement some sort of emotion. That's how I look at everything. So for me, it's about getting inside the head of the people that I want to come out to my events. So as far as famous artworks, look at things like the Mona Lisa or one of Picasso's works, you know what I mean? I try to think of the history of those types of paintings and how people connect to them.